he deserved to uh, to win that fight and just a uh, you know just a bad decision overall. No, I agree. Um, in the in the opening bout, we saw Devin Alexander lose. Hasn't won since 2017. Three fight losing streak. Has a draw with Victor Ortiz. He loses to Lucas Santa Maria. That's an LA guy. What's the ceiling on Lucas Santa Maria from the LA perspective? You know, very uh, solid fighter. Very scrappy. Uh, you know, he pretty much did what he had to do against a fighter like Devin Alexander. Uh, you know, Alexander has the name. He he's a former world champion. He's a you know, very slick southpaw boxer. Although I guess his, his time has passed. You know, you mentioned he hasn't he hasn't won since 2017. I was actually at uh, one of his last few fights uh, when he was uh, knocked out by Red Catch. But uh, in, in terms of something I mean, overall, you know, just uh, some you know some someone to sort of keep an eye on. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely in. The, um... Definitely in that grouping of fighters that are emerging organically. He holds a win over Mike Fox. He had a close fight with Olympian Paul Kroll. He's a guy that's looking like a homegrown, uh, battle-tested, tough boxer who's going to sneak out some wins against some names. I'm back. Can you repeat yeah. the question, man? We cut, totally cut off. Okay. So I was just kind of, I was just um, finish, paraphrasing and finishing that one. Um, so the main event was Louis Colazzo versus Imanis Stanionis. Stanionis is like that tier below Boots Innes and Virgil Ortiz and sexy uh, prospects the, in case you didn't see it or someone didn't see it. They clashed heads in the fourth round. Fight went to a no contest. Louis Colazzo is probably not going to fight again, if I had to guess. It's probably the walk away. Stanny Onis, to me, is kind of Sergei Boachuk from 360 Promotions, but a tad bit better. He's a very likable LA-based fighter who is getting a lot of TV exposure. Where do you see him going from this bout? Uh, from this bout, you know, take it as a Lu, Luis Colazo is is a veteran fighter. He's he's been in with a lot of big names, a lot of tough fighters. Uh, it was one of these fights where you could say it was a test for him. Even though, despite the, you know what happened in the fight, you know the, the clash of heads, uh, not the way you usually want a fight to end. But Santiones, he uh, you know very uh, very good boxer very good overall pedigree he was a uh, an olympian uh 2016 lithuanian olympian i believe if i'm not mistaken lithuanian correct yes he's from yes. a lithuanian boxer and he kind of has that eastern european style of olympics uh, <laughs> i'm struggling to say words um olympian style where he comes forward lots of pressure may be liable on defense yeah, a lot of a lot of pressure, like you said, Eastern European uh, type of uh, you know style. Uh, definitely, with uh, him him being an LA based fighter, I'm I'm sure he's getting the proper sparring, the proper uh, technique down. You know, I'm pretty sure he's polishing up. You know, I'm pretty sure they're working on him to to polish up more on his style. Uh, you know, this fight again, like again, this fight against Colazzo Collazo was supposed to be a uh, a test. Uh, it was a, a name for him to put on his resume, but again, Colazzo is, is a very tough fighter, but uh, a learning experience for Stantone is I'm pretty sure, you know, based on this, he will, you know, move on and just, this will be a learning experience for him. How far do you, because you're in the LA area, he's being built kind of in the LA area. How far do you think he is away from, a big meaningful fight, or maybe let's say, let's throw out a name like Sergey Lipinitz, who boots in is just fought. How far away is Danny Onis from fighting a, a Sergey Lipinitz at this point? I'd say a Lipinitz fight for him. You know, you mentioned he has the exposure a, a lot of TV time. He has there, they are matching him for, uh, 
But in terms of fighting uh, Lipinets, I would say maybe uh, maybe by the end of uh, of next uh, next year, possibly the beginning. I, I still think he needs a uh, a few more of those uh, gatekeeper names. Uh, you no know, Lipinets, I feel Lipinets still has. Uh, Oh, we lost you for a second. Oh, we lost you. But um, okay, that's good to know. What about Michael Conlon? What did you think of Michael Conlon's pres uh, performance uh, this weekend? Solid performance. Uh, you know, he's definitely uh, definitely come away from his uh, 2016, you know, Olympics since he flipped off the uh, the judges back uh, back then. Uh, so he needs a tough fighter. He, he, you know, he's as tough as they come, but it just overall, just a good performance 